Here's a quick video of what happens to wireless devices that operate at 2.4 gigahertz um, and uh, when a microwave is turned on and what kind of havoc it wreaks on the wireless environment. Uh, I have an Echo Sidekick device to do the spectrum analyzing. You can see the live um, feed of the current wireless spectrum for 2.4 gigahertz. You see some devices there and let me go ahead and pull up 5 gigahertz to kind of show you um, a, a few devices on 5 gigahertz including this phone I'm using to record. And there's a lot more space and spectrum to be used. Let um, me switch back to 2.4 to show the current environment. I'm going to also run a uh, iPref um, feed here. You'll see it jump up on, I think, channel 1 and in between. There we go. And everything else is kind of really crazy. So we're offering in between, what is that, 40 megabits per second or so. Um, and we go ahead and get the microwave started. And we'll see what kind of um, noise that introduces into the network. You definitely see the noise jump up, especially on the um, 11, or the 11, channel 11 or so. And we'll see some wireless uh, definitely dropping off. It was about what 50 to 30 megabits per second. Now we're down to six to seven megabits per second. Earlier when I was testing this, um, it was operating at s channel 6 and I was getting complete drops of 0 megabits per second for um, multiple seconds, um, a lot of packet loss happening. But when it's operating channel 1, it appears to do a bit better, but we're still seeing wireless drops happening. Okay, let me go and stop the bike wave to show you the difference again. But also at the top left, you can see the waterfall view, and you can definitely see a lot more traffic that's happening there. And a few other peaks, such as over here, where there's a lot of... Um, um, interference coming from the microwave. Now, microwaves are RF shielded, but obviously there is a lot of RF still coming out of them. Um, let's see, we'll see things calm down a bit. And then we'll of course see the speed return as well. Okay. There you go. I'm sorry, I forgot to check the 5 gigahertz range, but what I've done in the past, it looked exactly the same. Because again, microwaves do operate at 5 gigahertz, and uh, I'm sorry, microwaves do operate at 2.4 gigahertz, um, and so the 5 gigahertz looks pretty normal because again, uh, it doesn't really affect those ranges. Okay, and yeah, here we go.